Okay guys, welcome back. So, I'm going to tie this the, the ball the right black. Now the hook in the vise is a Amazon B175 and size 10. The thread we're going to use is uni 3881 white. I'm just going to use this starting off because we have a wee floss tag at the back. We want to try, just try and keep it nice and bright. Just if you use a black thread, it'll, once it gets wet, it'll darken the colour of the floss down for you. And sometimes you're best to use a a later colour floss. Now, the floss I'm using, this is a bright yellow uni floss, on the original pattern it's a gold, an old gold floss that was used. Catching the floss in, just working it around the bend, the length that you would like your tag to be, and then just work your thread back up. You just want your thread, once you let it go, sort of way in line with the the barb of the hook. And you just work your floss up, just overlapping turns. A couple of turns will catch this in for you, and then come in and trim away the waist. Now the tail on the fly, we're just looking at some tippet fibers, just natural. I'm just trying to keep this as close as I can to the, the original dressing. Now, if you need your tippet fibers, don't bring them out at an angle. Just get the feather, just pull it in between your finger and thumb. Come in and just nip away a few fibers. You don't need to be going nuts with the amount of fibres either. Anywhere between 6 and 8 will be plenty. You don't want this right about the length of the body. Just come up and catch that in. Just get the tail sitting nice. In the rib, which I forgot the lift. Mailer, silver and gold and 14. I'm going to use the gold side. Now you could use a 12, size 12, if you want to make the rib a wee bit broader. Just catching this on my side, and you want to catch it, if you want the gold side, which we do, we'd like to catch that on with the silver side facing yourself. So I'm just working the thread up, just basically concentrating tan on the two materials. You don't need to worry about any lumps and bumps, because the body's going to be dubbed. So a couple of turns to put finishes, just we'll take away our white thread. Then we're just going to come in with our uni thread either one black. And we'll just catch that in. And then just work our thread down at this point. tag of black thread. Just bring your thread right down, tied up against your tail. Just have a wee check. See where I am. Just throw it down nicely. Now the body, I'm using the traditional Irish dubbing. The pattern's very black. As I dub this on, does look like it's black, but when you hold this up to the light, there's flecks of blue fibers through the dubbing. So it's not just jet black. Oh, just up to that point there. Just anything that wants to go forward, just sweep your fibers back and just come in and with a couple of thread, turns of thread. The rib, just come up with our oval gold. I'm only going to feel about four turns of the mailer up the body. A couple of turns will catch that in. And then you can come in and throw away the waist. Anything that wants to go forward in the eye, 
Let's bring it back. At this point you can take your thread turns down to the eye of the hook and then just work them, work the thread back up again. Now, we're not looking too bad. The haggle at the front and the original dressing is like a henny cock. However, I'm just going to use this wee feather here. This is just a, an Indian hen cape that has been dyed black. Well, what's left of it? So the earth's been picked to the bone. So, to stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. Now, with this being a hen, probably just going to look two turns at the most. So, I've got to leave a bit of room at the front to put on the wing. Then you can come in, bring away the tip. Just stroke back your fibres on the stem. And then you're just looking one turn in front of the other. When you bring a turn round, just want to come in then at that point with your other hand. Just press your thumb or your finger, sorry, on the side. And just take your time. You're in no rush to be tying flies. Just sit down and, and enjoy the experience, is what I would say. And the stem's a wee bit thick to be folding back, so I'm just going to come in and take away the waste. Sweep anything that wants to go back, wants to go forward to the eye, just sweep it back and then bring your thread back up over the top. Then the wing is looking some bronze mallard. I'm on the last knock on some of the bronze mallard, so you just have to use what we can get here. Strip away the fibres off the stem and then just fold it in and just keep folding it around about three or four times. There's usually plenty for to get yourself a wing. Now, don't worry about it being picture perfect. This is a fishing fly, it's not for for show in any way. Now, the length of the wing. We want it just sort of way, either just slightly shy or sort of way level with the tips of the tail. Just come in and fold it over, pinch. Just take a couple of tight turns now, just to see what way you're sitting, and slide your fingers back. Just have a wee check. Now, I'm happy with that. So, just going to come in, tighten up with another few turns. Just lift the waist ends of the brown mallard up. Trim that away. Yeah. Just going to bring the thread down over the cut ends and then to the eye of the hook. And just build up over the cut ends nice and tight with your thread turns here at this point. Now, what I want to do is, guys, if I've got the book. Which is called tying flies in the in the Irish style. Just building the head up, and I'm going to tie all the flies. I'm going to put underneath a, a new subsection, in your favour on the channel, and just a few wee favours here. And I'm going to tie all the flies out of the book. I'll do my best to anyway, and then they'll be on the channel for you to come and check out at any time you feel like you want the the Tammy's Irish pattern like Tommy Hannah's fly here which is an absolute belter not an all round classic this one now just the first coat on the head now like a wee drop of super glue this just seals everything up And then you can come in, you must come in, I should say, would be my view, and stick on a couple of coats of varnish over the top of the glue. Just to seal everything up for you. Just any excess that wants to come down, just come in and wipe that away. And then we put a waste wire, just clean out the eye. 
there you go guys that's the near enough the original dressing bar the the floss at the back just give me a wee look at it now I'll pan out so like I say I'm gonna just pan out a wee bit here to show you so this is the book here and I'm gonna do I'm gonna start off start it off with a voluntary black and we're just gonna work our way through the dressings and we'll just put underneath a new subsection that's on the that's on the channel. Um, not everybody has the means to, to buy the, these types of books. Um EJ Malone unfortunately has passed away now. He's a great fly tire, great angler. So I'll put them up and then they're always there for you to to come on view. As always guys, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. It's greatly appreciated. And uh, if this is the first time watching me tie flies on the YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. It's completely free. No odds go on to my videos. Um, so just let you guys see the pattern and get away and tie. As always, be good to each other and uh, all being well. I'll catch us on the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.